Okay guys, welcome to the Battle for Middle England tournament up in Preston. Uh, I'm not actually filming the battle reports for the games today, just enjoying getting smashed instead. Uh, but why I'm going to film are some of the different armies that we're seeing on display here, because some of them look mighty sexy. So this is Sam Page's army, otherwise known as Southern Dunedain, on the forums. So Sam, you can talk us through your list. We'll start off with your force leader. Uh, well, pretty, pretty standard for this list. Um, you've got the Thor and Oaken Shield, with, um, and he's got nine Erebor Dwarfs. Uh, you've got five with Spear and four with Shield. And you know, Thorin's talked himself out with uh, Orkrist and yeah, the Oaken Shield. Yeah, he's a bit of a tank. He is a bit of a tank, although he, he's not performing too well at the minute. He's, um, he's, he's been killed twice. Oh, <laughs> well, um, well as scratch that point, maybe I'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he seems to come across as a bit of a tank. He, he is, yeah, he is a tank. Um, obviously, he's better against the evil, um, you know, against goblins. You know, he just cuts for him. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, with the warband of defense seven dwarfs, and you can't can't really go too far wrong. No, it's pretty good, especially with the spear support. And I think that's what what we're going to see with these uh, warriors of Erebor, is you're going to see quite a lot of them coming out to support some of the other older dwarves. Yeah. Like Kazard, that's what you're doing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right, Lewis over there. <laughs> Power gamer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we, we're probably going to see quite a lot of that. So yeah. we'll move along to the next warband up here. And who have we got? Uh, well, this, this is uh, Young Dwarven with his uh, invisible axe. It's a gorgeous model. It is. Yeah. I am um, probably one of my favourite models. Um, and he's got these. He's got the same as uh, Thorin's warband. Nine, nine dudes, except the spearmen have uh, shields as well. Fantastic. That, that is my you know, tank warband. If there's a monster, you know, that lot go after it. Yeah, tough to crack. I mean, I've come up against Dwalin a couple of times against Lewis, and uh, he's an absolute tank. And I'd just think what he'd be like on a pony as well. Uh, I, I'm just, I think that's really. I, I, that's probably, that's probably next on my list, actually. Stick him on a pony. Yeah. What, what, yeah, what, watch him. Destroy. Yeah, I think that's definitely going to happen. Yeah. One thing to point out is that these are converted Grim Hammers into Warriors of Erebor, and that's why they look so gorgeous. They're absolutely beautiful models, and they've got a good function as well. Have you given Grim Hammers a go? Has anybody tried the profile? And uh, I, actually I've, seen only, if they... I've only played against them, and I tabled the guy in two turns. Okay, so enough about Grim Hammers. The best <laughs> thing to do with the Grim Hammers is it's convert them, them. Yeah. into these gorgeous they, they are in the pipeline for this, just so I've got some range, because obviously here I, know I lack any sort of long-range firepower. Yeah. Which is six inch throw weapons is better than nothing. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to move on to the final war band, and we've got the new Barlin. Yep, well, he's, uh, we've got a stand in today. It's the Barlin from Goblin Town. Obviously, I've got the young Barlin at home um, yep. to go with the other two. And he's got eight warriors of uh, Erebor with uh, spear shields and just hand weapons. So, so far in the tournament, who have you come up against? Uh, I play. I played Sam Jeffries first with his. Um, is Moria Felby's list, um, gun bads. And, you know, it was just, it struggled, it was outnumbered. Mm. Um, you know, uh, Dwalin got black darted oh, and died. No. Um, and, you know, weight of numbers. Look at Mark smirking up there, by the way, smirking <laughs> at black. In fact, I seem to remember you black darting an Eowyn once. I, I did, yes. You know, in our first ever cavalry game. <laughs> that took about 17 Aowin. hours. <laughs> about 17 hours. My game's. Don't take quite as long anymore. <laughs> so yeah, this is a, a cracking little list. And who did you come up against next? That was Lewis. It was Lewis with his uh, combo, his dwarf combos. Yep. And uh, we did have a, a Dwalin versus Dwalin fight. Oh, and how did that go? Uh, his Dwalin won second turn. Give me the look that describes that moment, Lewis. Awesome. <laughs> 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 it, it was head banging. Head banging, um, yeah. I mean, I've, I've done two wounds to him, and he'd saved it first. You know, he'd save one wound. First time round, and then you know he just came back and did. And did the exact opposite. Yeah, did exactly the same, but I failed both my fate. So. So, but based on what you've done so far, and also your practice games, is there anything you'd do to change this list? Um, probably, probably about it. Not quite sure how much. By the way, Ed, this is what we've been filming. You know everything you've been missing out on YouTube, and you said, "What army are you bringing?" <laughs> yeah. Uh, YouTube, I understand to be something that requires technology. I live in Norfolk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> where that is a fair where the invention of the stick was a recent thing about last week. As such, YouTube has been absent of my life in the recent past. I will have a word with the local councillor of Norfolk County Council and see what they can do in relation to the internet and YouTube. 
Okay, cheers for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he is the king of Norfolk. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what, what do we think is going to happen? Do we think we're going to see a lot of Army of Thor lists coming out, like the standard builds, or are we going to see more combinations with the uh, old dwarves? I think there'll be more combinations. Yeah. Similar to what Lewis done, actually. You know, yeah. But the strength four Kazad's in front, because yeah. that's what really lets his army down is strength three. Yeah. You know, when you're yeah. coming up against defence six and seven, even not being able to wound on fives is just it's a killer. You know, I was struggling to kill Sam's Gundabads. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would like to put Kazads in, but I quite like the theme of this army. You know, yeah, it's, it's a lovely theme. It's all kind of that pre sort of Azog fight that we see in the, in the flashback from the Hobbit, um, and that's kind of where the idea of the army came from. You know, fully armoured. Um, yeah, perfect theme, really. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> So, that's us at the Great British Hobbit League Tournament, Battle for Middle England in Preston. We're going to go and have a look at some of the other army, armies. Thanks for watching and subscribe. <laughs>